invite Alana to just no, share okay. about what the ACS actually does, what their membership offers. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that don't know, ACS is Australian Computer Society. It's the largest yeah. professional body in Australia that is representing the ICT sector. Yeah. Um, and so Alana's joining us today. She's kindly offered to um, you know, give us a bit of her time um, to introduce what the membership does mm -hmm. and to explain to you how to become a member and don't worry about all of the ins and outs. So we'll send you the um, ACS form that you need to fill out um, later today or tomorrow. So you'll receive that in your email. So don't worry about reaching out. You will get that to your inbox. Um, and I'll also share the link in the chat here for everyone, um, but handing the floor over to you, Alana. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much for the intro. And I apologize for my busy background. I couldn't get my ACS background up in time. so. Apologies for the distraction there, but thank you so much for having me um, and for the kind of intro. So, um, yeah, my name's Alana. I'm the Partner Success Manager at ACS. Um, I've been here for over three and a half years, um, and I'm really excited to be able to um, present to you about the benefits. And, and as Lena mentioned, um, due to our amazing uh, partnership with My Room Innovation, it's all complimentary. So uh, as I run through it all, just know that you have access to everything. And, um, yeah, we'll pop through more information at the end of how to make the most out of it. Perfect. So what is the Australian Computer Society? So, and how can we like support you on your journey? So we're the national peak membership community for the technology um, sector in Australia. We're nearly 50,000 um, members strong around the country. Um, members range from students and graduates, just like yourself, to early to mid career professionals. Um, we've got our senior professionals. Um, and that also includes like chief information officers and chief technology officers. And we've also got members from the startup sector um, as we acquired River City Labs in 2018. So we've got a really great network available here. Um, the ACS Queensland branch can be found at the hub, um, Anzac Square in Brisbane City. We also have hubs um, in each state um, that members have access to, which I'll touch on a bit more shortly. Um, but the idea is we're here to help our members build their capacity, capability and harness innovation at each step. Um, and that's through our benefits, um, supporting uh, students and grads, and that's with professional development, networking opportunities, certification, career um, development, and more. So I'll run through that one shortly. So how do you differentiate yourself in a really competitive market? So we're going to touch on a few things here. Um, developing your personal skills or soft skills, um, and they can be uh, having great communication, um, being coachable, being good at problem solving, um, being a real team player. Why these are important is our industry contacts are saying they're really looking for people who are a great cultural fit. Um, and a great example is I used to work at a big national law firm and we had a really great tech team. Um, and we had, I'll never forget, one of the top lawyers in the country. She's a really quite intimidating woman, but didn't understand why her computer needed to restart for an upgrade, uh, up, like update. And she was like freaking out. And it was like to anyone, any one of us, we're like, oh, you just restart it. It's fine. It's for the better. But to her, it was a big deal. So that um, help desk uh, staff member needed to be able to communicate to her um, in, a, in a calm way, not condescending, really supportive way, um, and be able to communicate with her just what needs to be done um, and, and help her on that way. So that's where the communication skills come in handy, being able to talk to people who don't understand technology, um, because that's a really big skill in itself, because it's, it's easy to speak the language to someone else who gets it. But Quite often you'll deal with people who don't. Um, we could touch on their commitment to professional development. So the technology industry is changing so rapidly, as you would know. So in conjunction with your studies, we suggest keeping your technical and soft skills current. So that could be with some short online courses, um, newsletters, attending events um, and, and other kind of things. So I know that Mind Room for Innovation have some really great events um, that take place. Um, and it's really valuable to attend and keep learning because the industry just keeps changing. <laughs> um, and that third one, and probably the most important, build your professional network early. So even if you're just starting your course or you're about to finish, this is probably so important. So ensure that you have a LinkedIn. This is almost like an online resume. It's so valuable. And on that LinkedIn, follow organizations you want to work for one day. Follow people that work for all those organizations. Follow industry representatives. Follow recruiters. Um, follow uh, membership uh, people like myself. The idea is that you want to see what they're posting about. They might have events that you haven't heard of or meetup groups. They might promote jobs that don't necessarily feature on Seek and things. 
but they're also just it could be interesting what they post about you'll learn more about the business and, and more about people in those roles what they're interested in um, attending events is really important um, to meet others and build those connections in the industry um, it's really it can be quite daunting at first to go to those events but it's good to get uncomfortable get comfortable with the uncomfortable <laughs> um, get comfortable with selling yourself talking about yourself and promoting yourself um, and then that's where LinkedIn comes in handy to kind of follow up that conversation and, and continue that relationship and engage with a possible mentor. So even myself, I'm looking for a mentor um, and they're just really valuable to help kind of build your confidence, give you feedback, um, having a contact in the industry. Um, and it really can help you um, when you need someone to talk to as well. So as we mentioned, we're offering complimentary membership to everyone um, who's studying at Mind Room Innovation. So as I go through these benefits, know that you have completely access to all of them. So we've got our ACS Learning Accelerator. This platform hosts over 35,000 short courses um, and uh, exams. So where this comes in handy is um, whilst you're studying, if they mention a type of tech or a, a marketing term or something you're not sure of, this platform is really great to kind of plug it in and have a look. Um, I myself am doing the project management course. Um, this is really kind of helping me work within a team and, and learn new communication styles. Um, you've got a lot of marketing ones on there, which can be great because sometimes tech, you do need to be able to talk the lingo of marketing, especially if you're in the web development space and, and different kind of things. So this platform is really quite handy um, to keep that professional development up. We've got our ACS career platform. This platform hosts a great range of, event, uh, sorry, great range of jobs all around Australia. Um, that are tailored for graduates. So just the other day I was having a look and I saw a graduate program at Australia Post for tech, for um, needing tech people. Now it's like, of course, every industry now needs a tech team. So this tool is really great with thinking outside the box on who, who has those kind of jobs available. As you can see, you've got car sales there and, and um, you know, the EY and Google and things, but it does have a couple of jobs that are just outside the box that are really quite handy. As mentioned, you've got access to the hub, Anzac Square. So what we say on a casual basis is about once a fortnight, you can come and work out of there for the day, um, completely complimentary. Um, we have a great little kitchen area, coffee machine and everything. Um, and that's where we're based. Um, so you're always welcome to come say hello. Um, we're also part of the hub in Melbourne that you have access to. And we've got our ACS office in Sydney, Canberra and Sunshine Coast that have space for our members. So if you do wanna work out of there for the day, just let myself know or any of our branch members and we can organize a path for you. We've got our complimentary public and pro professional liability insurance. Um, this is really great if you want to do any contracting on the side um, with your tech skills, or when you do graduate, if you wanna go out on your own, you're actually covered by our um, insurance. Um, this alone is worth over $700, uh, which is kind of crazy. So it's really handy when you, um, cause you need that protection when you do contract and um, you're covered by our kind of umbrella. Um, as we touched on the importance of events, um, and apologize, you can see my dog in the background there. Um, we've got our events and professional development. So we host events um, in Brisbane, uh, on the Gold Coast, Toowoomba, Bundaberg, Rockhampton, Townsville and Cairns, as well as all the way um, in the other states as well. So our event themes, um, they can be really tech focused um, and tech specific events, but we also have events just for purely networking to bring you um, together with our other members. And we've also got our specific career driven um, events. So I'm about to introduce a series that will have a webinar every month um, that will go through kind of career tips and tricks, including like resume skills, how to build your confidence, um, how to goal set and others. So keep an eye out for those ones. Um, with our webinars, we host at least the one webinar a week. Um, and again, they are sometimes more tech specific, those ones. Um, we've got a great one coming up for um, career pathways to becoming a business analysis. Um, we're doing another one in the future about cybersecurity. So there's a couple of ones there tailored for students as well. Um, and we've got our emerging professionals and student events. So these events have been created from ideas from our students and graduates. Um, and we'll touch on shortly about the committee, but we've actually got one of these events taking place tomorrow night as well. Um, My Sophia, this is a really great tool um, to help you uh, assess your skill set and see where it works in the industry. Um, and it also helps you kind of plan um, what other kind of courses or, or um, uh, learnings you may need. Um, and it's a great way to see if you've got a really great like job role you're dreaming of, you can kind of put it in this tool and it will help you map out how to get there. Um, so it's worth having a look at this one. 
We've got our certification. This is something to more consider towards the end of your study or as you enter the industry. Um, if you want to become certified, it will um, assess your current skill set and um, your certificates and, and study. Um, and it will help you kind of stand out as a proven professional in the field. Um, those kind of buttons you see down the bottom or badges, um, they can feature on your LinkedIn and, and your signature. And it really shows your customers that um, you're proven in this space. We've also got our ACS um, ambassador card. This hosts a great range of benefits and financial um, discounts that will help you. Um, I myself was um, traveling recently and had a look and there was discounts for like Dream World and, and uh, Movie World, but also discounts for like the Blue Mountains and things. So you've got your retail discounts, but also um, some kind of traveling benefits. Now, the power of our network, this is probably my favorite part. Um, we've really got some really great members. We've got nearly, uh, I think it's nearly 50 corporate partners around Australia. Um, and they include like Cairns Regional Council. Um, they're really great and they host our events up in the Cairns region. Um, you've got Zemba. Um, it's a gaming company startup based out of Brisbane. Um, Pablo is quite often at our events. Um, and as ACS members, you actually get 30% off um, any of the gaming uh, building courses. Crypto Lock in the middle there. Um, they're another great Queensland startup that's a really big in the cybersecurity space. Um, so you'll quite often see them at our events. Um, Solus there down the bottom, they are a Gold Coast based cybersecurity company. Um, David, who's their, uh, who's uh, leads that team is, is a really amazing and, and part of our Gold Coast chapter. Um, and you've also got CanStar there. So these are just a few to mention, but these are the type of people that come to our events and, and you can kind of meet in the future. Our ACS Queensland Emerging Professional Community. So we kicked off an initiative about three years ago, I started it, where it was a committee of um, 12 either currently studying or recently graduated um, members from around uh, Queensland who come together on a monthly basis. Um, and they kind of put together like event concepts and initiatives that really represent what students are really wanting. Um, our idea behind this was that all, it's all well and good for our professional members to say, oh, students want this, students want that. but we wanted to hear directly from our student members. So um, these elections come up for these committees once a year. So you're always welcome to be to apply and be part of it. Um, we found that it was so successful that we ended up building out a community. So we've got a LinkedIn group that's locked, super locked down. <laughs> that's just for student and graduate ACS members um, just to come together and meet other students. Um, you can uh, yeah, make some friends in there, ask each other questions. Um, I'll post events in there, um, exclusive opportunities like volunteer roles. Um, an example is um, we've got something Fest coming up, which is a startup um, week long event that was looking out for volunteers. So that's where we promoted it exclusively in that group. Um, but yeah, it's also a great way that you can ask questions, meet people. Um, it's just a real safe place to kind of come together. So um, when you sign up, we more than welcome you to join that group. So here's some events we've got coming up. So Innovate and Ignite, this event's taking place tomorrow night. It is actually an emerging professional um, event that they created and put together because they're really interested in the startup space. So um, the idea is this one's got a panel of four startups at different stages of their careers. Um, and they're gonna share some tips and tricks what inspired them to come uh, to start up their own uh, concept um, and share some tips and tricks on, you know, to give others that are considering going out on their own and, and creating that startup. Um, I'll provide these links as well to, to Lena afterwards if um, you want to come along too. We've got an upcoming um, event in Brisbane. This is the last stop of our regional roadshow, um, harnessing the power of Microsoft 365 with a pack of seven. So this is one of those more tech specific content um, ones, but this one will be held in Brisbane at the precinct in Fortitude Valley. Um, we've already got over 70 registrations. So this one's a really great opportunity to network um, with some of our senior professionals. Um, and hear from a great um, Queensland company. And this one's online. So this one talks about our skill migration um, professional year program. So um, it's just another kind of session that will tell you a bit about the program we're offering um, and some um, tips and tricks um, for our professional year students. Um, this one I'm most proud of and excited for, and you're probably one of the first people to hear about it. We're partnering with Supernova. So if you haven't heard of Supernova before, um, they're the leading pop culture and anime um, convention in Australia. So think like a Comic-Con. Um, what we're doing is we're adding a Friday to the event and making it a tech career fair. So a little bit different. We're having a bit of fun with this one. Um, we're going to have four stages worth of content. 
Um, so they'll explore sessions like career pathways. Um, we'll have um, like someone from LinkedIn talk about some LinkedIn tips and tricks. Uh, we'll have resume tips, career tips, um, and also opportunities to meet our professional network. Um, as you can see in the back there, that's kind of the floor of the entertainment center. We'll have a whole section of it dedicated to ACS's contacts. So um, we welcome our industry um, to host booths. Um, you'll be able to interact with them, build your contacts and, and meet some um, professionals there. Um, we've also confirmed Adam Savage from Mythbusters is one of our speakers on the Friday. So it's a bit of an excitement. So um, Friday only tickets are available for $25. Um, our ACS members get priority seating um, and we've got discounts for the weekend tickets as well. So welcome to scan the QR code um, and pop your expression of interest and we can send you more information there. Um, so how to, to be able to um, access this. So you've got the QR code there on the screen. What it will do is populate a form. If you give us some information about yourself and we'll ask some questions about your course. Um, and then once you sent that, you'll get an automatic email from myself um, just asking for a screenshot of your um, student ID or, or documentation. Um, but Lena will have more information on that as well. So um, yeah, we can make sure we sign you up on that space. But yeah, I guess, did anyone have any questions um, or any queries they want to know more about? Oh, good. I think well, everyone's you. definitely really excited to join. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Alana, for, for you know sharing that. You're doing so much work in the space and we're definitely very lucky and, and happy to be members. And so I think it's... Um, I will also send with you guys so you don't necessarily need to um, complete Alana's one because as um, Alana's QR code just for the membership, I'll send you in the chat below. I'll just send you the link here and we'll also circulate that as well because we will send off a whole, everybody who applies, we'll send that directly to Alana because the problem with ours um, is with the ASIC cards. You can't do the screenshot, unfortunately, because they have that encrypted. Um, and so... Um, we'll, we will send that to Alana directly once we receive your forms in there and we'll add your COE just as obviously proof and to verify that you are students. Um, but thank you so much for your time and for sharing that. And we're really um, looking forward to attending more of the events as well. Um, so, and thanks to all of you as well for joining. So looking forward to seeing you at some of the events. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, guys. Enjoy your class as well. We hope you have a good one. And um, yeah, thank you for signing up as members. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Awesome. <clears throat> Bye, Sean. Thank you so much for allowing us to, to um, you know, invade the meeting. And yeah, I hope you definitely sign up. And I, just another last thing I wanted to add, I think a really great way if they do need, um, as you know, the or some of you will know the importance of the ACS and their work and what they do. So even if, you know, if you have a day in a week or if you're looking to um, improve your networking skills or your networking itself, um, a really good way to do that is to start by possibly volunteering at one of these events, whether it's a four hour slot or something. I think it's a really good way in to just to get your foot in the door and get to know some people professionally. Um, because once you obviously say, hey, I'm willing to give up a little bit of my time, then it's also easier to say, oh, do you know this person? Or, you know, how can I get into this? Or just build your contact um, network because you might not obviously have that in Australia yet. So um, that's just one of the things she was talking about, but they're obviously running a lot of great events. So anyway, I'm, I'm cautious of the fact that we've gone over time. So I'm sorry about eating in your class time, Sean. Um, but have a lovely evening, everybody. And if you have any questions, just feel free to email um, our student support team um, about any of it. And we will definitely um, can answer any questions. So I've just popped the email in the chat. So I'll leave you to it. Have a lovely class, everyone. Bye.